So pure protein shake. So it has uh, zero carbs in it, okay. and uh, so basically you're taking in zero calories. Isopure protein shakes, uh, one of the uh, you know classic whey isolate protein shakes that is uh, a more refined product. It is obviously has calories in it. it says right on the nutritional facts. So guys, Derek, morepolitemordates.com. Today we are going to be revisiting Bollywood. Yes, we have the uh, the clip the other day, the interview with the guy, um, the Bollywood giga celeb, you know, mentioning how protein, you know, it doesn't digest, right? It stays in your body for fucking three years. You're a fucking idiot if you use protein. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that guy who said you can't have whey protein without it staying in your body for three fucking years and then, you know, quickly dismantling it with a little, easy little Google search, which... You think you, you think you would know the like I'm again when people want to take advice from people who look the part. You have to understand a lot of times, even at the Mr. Olympia level, where these guys, their entire fucking career that they generate wealth from, is derived from advice given from a guru or a coach, and they don't necessarily understand shit. Now that's not the case for all of them. Obviously, some of them are extremely intelligent and educated and whatever. And just because you don't understand pharmacology or nutrition doesn't mean you're, you know, dumb. It's just a lot of these individuals, just because you look the part doesn't mean you know shit. As you will see <laughs> shortly, because there are a lot of Bollywood celebs, surprisingly, that are at the top of the fucking game. Top of the food chain celebs with sick physiques who don't know shit. Like, very bad. Very bad nutritional information that they think is, like, shit you would have thought when you were, like, 13. And then some, like... The most, you know, basic fucking entry-level personal trainer would have corrected you on your first day in the gym. This is like, I'm shocked that these fucking massive stars are parroting such bad info. Like, stuff that is easily disproven, too, by a quick Google search. Like, I'm surprised they're saying this on, like, fucking live TV in interviews and shit. Where it's like, you're, you're putting yourself up at risk of getting completely, you know reacted to and people dismantling your shit so i don't know like it's it's one thing to say if you don't know something but to like factually and passionately say like you're an idiot for having a whey protein shake because fill in the blank reason you'll see some of the other claims by the other these are massive stars too so i actually had uh some of the video is not in english so i actually put out a story last night Pretty late, and I was like the first person to translate this for me. Gets a free bottle of Gorilla Mode. So I had a bunch of people um, jump in and try and uh, give me a good transcript. And the first guy that ended up giving me um, the full thing, you know, I have, uh, I'm gonna be sending him a free bottle of the limited edition Volcano Burst flavor. And uh, <laughs> I like some of the claims are fucking ridiculous, dude. So this is by B Harami, the uh, Instagram account. And they have some interesting looking uh, videos. They post a fuck ton because this video was only five days ago. And they have, like, you have to scroll down deep to fucking get to it, dude. Like, it's actually, it's past here. We're at three days ago. I just scrolled, like, what would otherwise be a couple months for most people. Um, there it is. Five days ago. They've done, like, fucking 100 posts since then. Jesus. So, anyways, you go into Reels and this video blew up. 1.4 million views. <laughs> And you'll see why, because that's some of the biggest stars in the industry, apparently, and they are, uh, like, you'll be shocked how fucking massive these people are, and there's parroting complete trash information, including the whey protein guy. He's definitely in here, of course, but uh, let's get into it. So pure protein shake, so it has uh, zero carbs in it, and uh, so basically you're taking in zero calories. Isopure protein shakes, uh, one of the, uh, you know, classic whey isolate protein shakes that is, uh, a more refined product. It is obviously has calories in it. It says right on the fucking nutritional facts. Um, but no, this guy seems to think that because it's... Uh, let's listen again. Oh, fuck. Wrong one. Here we go. So pure protein shake. So it has uh, zero carbs in it. So again, you know, when you get these isolate type shakes, you know, they're typically more void of, you know, fat and carbohydrate content. You know, it's totally different than what you would, you know, a traditional weight gainer or something. This is something that is just basically ideally purely whey protein with as minimal of other shit possible. And obviously the closer you get to hydrolyze, the more not great tasting it gets 
as you would expect from a more and more refined agent, not agent, I always talk in fucking drug terms, refined fucking nutritional food item. Um, so it has zero carbs in it. So again, we have four calories per gram of carbs. You know, most people know that just like there's four calories per gram of protein and nine calories per gram of fat. So if this has, and so basically you're taking in zero calories, 25 grams of protein or whatever it is per scoop, what are you going to be getting in protein? What are you, what are you going to be getting in calorie content in conjunction with, you know, the trace amounts of other shit? You know, in general, with protein shakes like this, you're going to be getting close to, you know, 120 calories per scoop or something. This guy is saying because it has no carbs, the net impact on your caloric intake is fucking zero. So it has uh, zero carbs in it. And uh, so basically, you're taking in zero calories and uh, you're getting 25 grams of protein in. So you're getting 25 grams of protein in that for zero calorie. No impact to your fucking caloric intake. So you could just get shredded to the fucking socks until you are an anatomy chart and get as much protein as you need. Fuck, protein ice creams all day, bro. You can just slam that shit and not have to worry about it, right? So they have some like memes in between this shit that I had to get translated because I had no idea what he was saying. So he said, boss dicky which apparently means vagina dweller. Now, I, I couldn't be wrong, because again, I'm just reading a fucking script I was given, essentially, and this guy could be, you know, totally off, but apparently this guy just said that Varon Dewan is indeed a vagina dweller. So let's go see Varon Dewan. Is this guy indeed a vagina dweller? Let's see. He is an Indian actor who works in Hindi films, one of India's highest paid celebrities, has been featured in Forbes India's Celebrity 100 list. Um, his occupation, actor. He is 34 years old. He went to Nottingham Trent University. Sounds fancy. Apparently, they didn't teach anything about... Like, he's in fucking great shape, dude. Like, how does this guy not get that there's calories and protein shakes? Like, this guy obviously is, like, known for a physique. What the... F like, look at this shit. How can you go your entire career and get in this shape and never learn that there's calories in a protein shake? Like, this is the pinnacle of examples of guys just taking what their coach tells them or their guru or whatever and fucking applying it and getting good results, but not necessarily understanding shit or knowing what they're talking about. Like, holy fuck, dude, this guy looks awesome. Awesome, dude. But it doesn't mean he knows what he's talking about or he has good information. Let's see what his, uh, where's his uh, Instagram here? Let's go see how massive this fucking giga celeb actually is at the end of the day. 37.3 million followers. Bro, so when he says, by the way, there's no fucking calories in an isopure protein shake, a lot of people are going to believe him. A lot of people are going to be like, why would this guy who has one of the best bodies in the fucking industry not give out correct information? Like he obviously knows what he's doing. He's obviously applied it. He obviously has a sick physique. So why would that not be good nutritional information? Let's go slam isopure shakes all fucking day, bro, and look like this. Doesn't work like that. Doesn't fucking work like that. Monday motivation, my man. Over a million likes. A million fucking likes, bro. Baffling shit. 2.1 million views. This guy isn't, this guy's an even bigger fucking giga celeb than the last one. This guy's like double the fucking last one, dude. All right, let's get back into uh, the rest of them here. So if you're having this rice and. Uh, oh, it's our boy. Uh, chicken, for examples. Don't mix it with roti. Hmm. Or just have roti and rice. This, I wanted to know what the fuck roti was because I did not know. The last video when we uh, reacted to this guy. So I looked it up. And by the way, this guy, if you don't remember, it is Ayushman Karana. Forgive my pronunciations of these individuals. I will probably butcher the fuck out of them. As you would expect. You can't really expect much more from me. Come on. So anyways, here we are. This guy is the 14.5 million uh, followers. Not a public figure. His eyebrows are bushy. And he doesn't know fucking anything about nutrition, apparently. Or the, well, actually, like, I guess his, his information is, uh, or no, he's the fucking protein, doesn't digest for three years guy. The guy who has a book about fucking gynecology while he stands in a garden looking as professional as possible. Uh, presumably this is for a role. I would fucking hope so. I mentioned this in the last one. I would hope you were not posing with a fucking stethoscope and a gynecology book for no reason. Presumably this is his movie. All right. So anyways, imagine if you were actually a doctor with this fucking education, a fucking master of gynecology, and you don't know that protein digests 
<laughs> like a normal amount of time. Whey protein specifically, not fucking just protein. Uh, so anyway, 14.5 million followers, obviously a very, you know, highly influential figure who's going to be able to sway the opinions of many people into doing or not doing something based on what he says. And let's look up what this roti stuff is. So it is a round flatbread native to the Indian subcontinent made from stone ground whole wheat flour, traditionally known as, ooh, I'm not going to say that, and water that is combined into a dough. Roti is consumed in many countries worldwide. Its defining characteristic is that it is <laughs> unleavened, leavened, leavened, None from the Indian subcontinent, by contrast, is a yeast leavened bread, as is culture. Like breads around the world, world roti is a staple accompaniment to other foods. There's a fucking citation for that. Encyclopedia of Food Grains. As if I didn't believe you that fucking roti is a staple food. I need a citation to prove it. This looks pretty good. This kind of looks like pita bread to me. Fuck, that looks hella good. Give me some. Goddamn. Mmm, looks fucking solid, dude. Look at that technique. Fuck. All right, so anyways, back to uh, Ayushman Karana. You confuse your body. If it's called digest, it's called digest. Okay, before this meme shits on him, or whoever this is, he says, uh, so he says, either eat roti or rice. Don't mix them. Don't eat them both and confuse your body because then your body will wonder which to digest first, the bread or the rice. And this guy says, Johnny Bravo. Sounded like he said Johnny Bravo. That's definitely not what he said, though. He says, where were you, wise saint? Sarcastically, apparently. Not something something like Johnny Bravo, which is what I fucking heard. Uh, obviously, it's not what he said, though. So anyways, he says, don't confuse your body. If you have the roti and the rice at the same time, your body will fucking tweak out and not know which one to go to first. It'll literally have a goddamn meltdown and probably spontaneously combust on the spot from having the presence of roti and rice goddamn simultaneously. So is that true? Obviously fucking not, dude. Like have a balanced diet. Can you combine more than one um, carb source or something? Fucking sure, dude. Can you combine carbs and fats and protein in the same meal? Oh, God forbid. You know, you're definitely going to store it all as fucking, you know, fucking visceral fat or some shit just because you had fat in the same meal as carbs, right? And your insulin spikes and it all gets shuttled into your goddamn gut. No, dude, obviously not. Like have common sense. It's not, it's more about your caloric expenditure, the quality of the foods you're eating, all this shit. If you're combining two foods that are like overlapping in macronutrient content or contradictory from like traditional carb protein, fat protein, meal alignment, it's not the fucking end of the world. Um, salt replace it with Himalaya pink salt. Okay, so this individual, her name apparently is Nushrat Barucha. Definitely fucked that up, but bear with me. So, first thing she says is stop using stop using salt. Use pink Himalayan salt. I don't know if she's already said that, but let's hope she did because I can't fucking rewind it without playing the whole thing again. So, anyways, this is the individual Nushrat Barucha. Obviously, knows what she's. Uh, Doing somewhat in the gym, I would guess. You know, has a pretty decent physique. Um, obviously, is, uh, you know, scoring all the fucking Bollywood dudes, you know. She's got it going on. She knows her shit, you would think, because, you know, she's in good shape. She's 36 years old, is a successful Indian actress, has a lot of, you know, experience in the industry, getting in shape for shit. Um, whatever. So anyways, let's get to, Inst let's get to Instagram. 3.4 million followers. Pretty fucking big star. We got, you know, 250K likes, 180K likes, 565K likes. Fucking huge, buddy. Obviously a very influential figure. And you can imagine that a lot of people probably take what she says to heart. Not with a grain of salt. With a, you know, fucking pun entirely intended. So anyways, she says here, um, don't... <laughs> Stop using salt, use pink Himalayan salt. So why would you do that? The idea is that, you know, traditional table salt is not good for you. It is full of uh, microplastics and shit, and it's just like not good. You know, it's not going to be uh, containing as many trace minerals and whatnot. Um, it's not going to be as good quality as a pink Himalayan. Is that true? You know, to some extent, pink Himalayan, I would say, is superior. But in general, like, it's not as dense in trace minerals as you would think like i think it's like 
in the single digit percentages of how much more trace minerals are found in pink Himalayan. And because again, this is like a heavily, um, like this, this, is, this is a very popular salt. It's like very, very easy to procure. It's sold very cheaply. Apparently it is uh, a lot more iron dense than you would otherwise have expected for being such like, like a pure salt. Um, and again, the trace mineral content is not that much more superior. Now, is it better than traditional, just like shitty table salt that you would normally find? Yeah, probably. But again, if you're going to find like the highest quality salt, if she's giving you recommendations on definitely use pink Himalayan over this, I would look at something like a Celtic sea salt over pink Himalayan personally. Um, now again, this isn't like my wheelhouse necessarily knowing the ideal form of salt, but just from my limited research in the past when I was looking this up, because again, when I was doing the vertical diet pretty intensely, you know, there's a very big focus put on, you know, sodium intake. And obviously as you delve into the realm of optimization, you start to look for the most uh, micronutrient dense versions of foods or the most, you know, mineral dense alternatives of, you know, like uh, um, things you would put on your food, like things that could otherwise backfill certain pathways, especially in a deficit. Um, things that are just gonna be higher quality and not contain bullshit like microplastics or excess of iron or lack the minerals that you're trying to get from a good high quality salt. So again, table salt, like I agree, it's probably not the best thing to get. Pink Himalayan, you know, it's a bit better, but I would get something like a Celtic sea salt as an alternative. Is that advice the worst thing ever though? No, it's not. It's like a reasonable suggestion. Is it the end all be all or the most superior option? You know, probably not, but it's not that ridiculous. So we're gonna get into the rest of it though, shortly. <laughs> Okay, so clearly <laughs> Snoop Dogg's with the shit on her. So I'll just say what she said apparently. So she said, stop using salt. Like, I don't even know where to cut off because I don't know when she says this shit. I'm just going by my transcript and trying to hope it sounds similar. She said, stop using salt. And again, this is assuming this is a correct transcription. So fucking bear with me here. Stop using salt. Use pink Himalayan salt. Touched on that. Stop using sugar. Use jaggery. Okay, what the fuck is jaggery? Okay, so we're gonna get into jaggery now. It is a traditional non-centrifugal, <laughs> I don't know what the fucking, non-centrifugal cane sugar consumed in the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia. It is a concentrated product of cane juice and often date or palm sap without separation of the molasses and crystals and can vary from dark golden brown to dark brown in color. It is similar in, in, to the Latin American panela, also known as Piloncillo in uh, Mexico. It contains, now this is the main thing I wanna to touch on. It contains up to 50% sucrose, up to 20% invert sugars, and up to 20% moisture, with the remainder made up of other insoluble manners, such as wood ash, proteins, and bagasse fibers. Bagasse, looks pretty fucking good. Jaggery is very similar to muscovado, an important sweetener in Portuguese cuisine and British cuisine, the Kenyan sucari naguru, Naguto has no fiber. It is dark and is made from cane sugar or sugar cane. A block of jaggery with a US penny for size comparison. All right, so is this much superior to normal sugar? You know, she mentioned swapping it out and how it's fucking critical you do it. Well, if you're gonna be looking for a different sweetener that's not going to be as problematic from an inflammatory aspect, from a any kind of health process aspect, is something like this going to be better it still contains 50% sucrose, which is comprised of glucose and fructose. This is not necessarily, is this the fucking optimal? Is this, you know, like a, something as good as a stevia, for example, as a, you know, alternative naturally occurring sweetener that is not going to cause um, the same kind of issues in excessive quantities necessarily? You know, I would argue something like a stevia is probably a superior alternative, especially when it comes to um, actual caloric intake and whatnot too. Um, getting a sweetening effect without, you know, deleterious impacts to your health potentially. Now, again, is it the end of the world if you use fucking sugar or jaggery? Like, no, obviously in moderation, things are going to be fine. But if we're going to be talking about like the pinnacle of substitutes, of natural substitutes that are, you know, healthier options, I would probably argue for something like a stevia. Um, you know, maybe even a monk fruit potentially, you know, as we've seen with, uh, some of the more interesting foods that have come out of the woodwork lately that are sweetened with monk fruit and seem to be pretty fucking on point. And she says, stop using milk, yogurt, wheat flour. Just like plain, plain as day, no alternatives suggested apparently. And then Snoop says, shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So, you know, are these like brutal suggestions to stop using normal salts and use Himalayan? Is it, you know, pink Himalayan, stop using sugar and use jaggery? No, those aren't like ridiculous. Um, not, that, not nearly as bad as the last two guys. And stop using milk, yogurt, and wheat flour. Should you stop having fucking dairy just because this chick says to? No, you know, if you can tolerate it fine, like fucking implement it. It's a good source of nutrients. Why would you not have yogurt? Like Greek yogurt is like one of the best fucking things ever, dude. Why not? If you can tolerate it just fine, why not, bro? Um, so anyway, Snoop says, shut the fuck up, bitch. Now we are on to Akshay Kumar here. And he says he is apparently very against the usage of that protein shake. <laughs> but I said that protein shake because apparently that's what he literally said, but I don't know if that's grammatically what he said. And then he proceeds to promote a protein shake on national TV right after saying he doesn't, he's very against the usage of protein shake. <laughs> and then now we have the, uh, and by the way, let's go look at this fucking guy. I have his thing up as well. So we're at. Akshay Kumar, he is a 53-year-old professionally, oh, that's his professional name, but his real name is, I'm not gonna even attempt it. So anyways, he is a martial artist, bro. He knows his shit. He is a film producer, Canadian actor, interesting. All right, so anyways, let's see his, uh, see how influential this guy is for promoting this shit. Holy motherfuck, 53.8 million followers. Um, this guy is, uh, Top of the heat, bro. This guy is very influential. And if he says he's against protein shakes, you can imagine a lot of people are gonna be like, you know what, he doesn't use it. This guy is, you know, knows his shit. I'm also not gonna use protein shakes. And by the way, that other guy said it doesn't digest for three years. So we might as well just swear them off entirely forever. We have enough reinforcement from the big names in Bollywood now that we are never gonna touch this poison that is fucking whey protein. But then he goes around and turns around <laughs> Turns around and ends up uh, fucking making his own, apparently. Let's go back and uh, I'll fucking mute it all the way to that point. So we got the uh, the first guy, no carbs, has 25 grams of protein for zero calories, apparently. And then we've got the next guy who is the <laughs> vagina dweller. Okay, so we have the rice and chicken. Don't mix it with roti, bad idea. Just have roti and chicken. Don't confuse your body and have rice and roti. You're gonna fuck yourself up for sure, bro. Now we're on to the salt. Don't have salt, you better have Himalayan. Pink Himalayan, stop using sugar, use fucking jaggery. Stop using milk, yogurt, wheat flour, you are going to fuck yourself up. Shut the fuck up, bitch, says Snoop Dogg. Now we are finally back. You bought against you have a protein shake. It's like Horlicks. Boom, Horlicks, Protein Plus. It's a fucking small container, no? Horlicks, Protein Plus. Let's go look at this shit. All right, here we go. Horlicks Protein Plus. It is uh, three high quality proteins. It contains all the essential amino acids needed to build and maintain muscle mass important for strength. Has whey, casein, and soy. It is 370 calories per 100 grams. Is that per, I, don't know, I can't see any fucking details here. Let's see, 376.5 calories, 30 grams, net weight, 200 grams. The fuck? Oh, is this like a smaller container? I was about to say, there's no way this thing only has like 700 calories per fucking jug. Uh, but again, you never know because protein has no fucking calories, right? Um, I don't know. I can't really, uh, I'm not going to dig into it too much. Let's go back to the video now. So we know that guy, he has his own protein after saying he fucking hates protein. So anyways. <laughs> All right, so apparently that girl says all these motherfuckers are trying to trick us bloody sister fuckers so the first guy the vagina dweller the wise saint in the second one which was this guy actually then we had the snoop shitting on that chick and now we had this is probably the most hectic one yet all these motherfuckers trying to trick us bloody sister fuckers imagine if this was incorrect and i was just reading some like ridiculous transcript right now anyways we're back to this guy the protein takes three years to digest guy protein shakes are really bad three years to digest one scoop of protein shake by the way three years that's one, one scoop of protein three years bro if you didn't fucking know it stays in your body Stays in your body if you didn't fucking know. Apparently that guy says, fucking idiot, talks a lot of shit, fuck off, motherfucker. Dude in the shades proceeds to call him unholy mother and sister curses. 
Text at the end says neither from here nor from there. Hey, you guys tell me, any of my uh, um, followers from India, let me know if that is uh, an accurate transcript or not. Because imagine I just said a bunch of fucking ridiculous shit that was not accurate whatsoever. So let's hope the guy was indeed correct. So anyways, this is baffling to me, dude. Like at least to some extent, like when I see some of the mega celebs in the USA giving out advice, they're like, you know, they talk about chicken, rice, and broccoli is like one of the most ridiculous things they always talk about. They talk about, you know, how their diet fucking is like the most meticulous thing ever. And it's basically just restricting them to the most micronutrient deficient diet model of all time, blah, blah, blah. But they don't really give out. Eh, actually, yeah, they do give out pretty incorrect information. I guess in all realms of the fucking planet, um, top guys are just taking advice from, you know, their coaches and their high, you know, tier um, I don't know, the gurus, the celebrity trainers, and just, you know, parroting it. And unfortunately, a lot of this information is outdated from, you know, decades ago. And it still, you know, goes through the grapevine, you know, year to year and uh, still stays kind of, I don't know, is it like individuals who don't want to learn more? They've already had the top clients and so they just retain, you know, get all the top clients and still have their, you know, bad information, you know, bleed through or what happens. But like, to me, it's baffling that this, like, they obviously pay good money to whoever trains them, to whoever does their diet and nutrition, and to, like, absorb this kind of information. It really makes you wonder, like, who are these celebrity trainers in Bollywood? And do they fucking know what they're talking about? Or are they just, like, throwing shit at a wall and hope it sticks, you know? You, you want to get shredded? Just eat less food. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, or eat more food. Fuck, you know, I have zero calories in the protein, so just eat, like, whey protein all day and you'll get shredded. Might work. <laughs> Might not be the best approach though. So, anyways, we had uh, multiple Bollywood giga celebs here. Um, let me know if you guys uh, have any feedback or um, corrections and shit for the transcript or any of the you know, statements made. You have any opinions? Who's worse, the USA celebrities or the Bollywood celebrities? You know, we've had you know some of the uh, the Ryan Reynolds, the uh, I don't know the um, who else? Fucking the guy who played Tarzan. We had um, um, Hugh Jackman. We've had. Chris Evans, we've had Michael B. Jordan, we've had tons of guys, you know, come out and talk about their diets to prepare for, you know, superhero roles or whatever it was. And then we have these individuals who are, you know, basically doing the same shit, not necessarily prepping for superhero roles, but prepping to play, you know, wrestlers and shit. Like I think Amir Khan did like the most nutty transformation ever to be a wrestler, if I recall correctly. Um, we have guys just trying to look fucking sick, like uh, Hurtik Roshan, I believe his name was. And we have other individuals like these who are, I don't know, trying to sell shit and, you know, going back on their previous statements about, you know, protein's terrible for you. We have some people saying, eat as much as you want of it because it's free of fucking calories. It's going to take three years to digest. Like, oh, man, it's just let me know what you think. All the comments help the algorithm. They're much appreciated. Like, subscribe. Check out my blog, moreplace18.com. Follow me on Instagram, at moreplace18. Facebook, Snapchat, not bitchy, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. Um, if you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below. My TRT clinic, all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home, Gorilla Mind, nootropic formulas, Gorilla Mode pre-workout formulas, I design myself from scratch. We will be having whey protein soon too with Gorilla Mode. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, I recommend lab tests and diagnostics. Stay on top of your health. Get high quality oversight from doctors who know what the fuck they're doing. Who will also look at your biomarkers and diagnostics and interpret them accordingly based on their expertise in the field and uh, high quality education and information to back their statements rather than throwing shit at a wall and hope it sticks, which unfortunately it seems like it's pretty prevalent nowadays. Um, anything else I'm associated with helps support the channel. Recommended diet model for newbies who just want to get an idiot proof 101 guide to how to gain muscle whilst being mindful of gut health, sports performance, um, electrolyte intake, a lot of different shit that goes overlooked. Um, sodium intake, like I mentioned earlier, check out the diet model in the video description below. It really makes it simple to learn how to optimize your micronutrient intake concurrently with hitting your macros and your muscle building, strength building goals. So I highly recommend the diet as well as anything else I'm associated with. It is all in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.